Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of Family Moments as we continue our special series called Creature Features, where we're showcasing different animals to help us teach the truth. About what matters most. Exactly. And today, we're going to have some fun with snakes. Snakes? I hate snakes. You're joking, right? Nope, I'm not kidding. What's next? Scorpions? Spiders? Hornets? Nope, but those are good ideas. How about if we go back to kittens? I like those. Sadie, you're going to be fine. Once you hold one in your hands, you're going to- I'm not holding any snakes. I figured you'd react like that. Here, I got you something to calm you down. What is it? Just a little snake. I mean snack. (laughs) Relax, just a candy bar. Oh, what kind? Snakers. Uh, I mean Snickers. (laughs) Would you stop that? You're so tense. Why don't you just snake on out of here? I mean, sneak on out of here and take a little walk. That's a good idea. You know, you might be more comfortable if you put on your sneakers. Dad! I mean, sneakers. <laughs> hey kids, Pastor Robbie here, along with my lovely assistant and wonderful daughter, Sadie. Hello. And today, would you please take that off? I'm just playing it safe. <sighs> And today, we're gonna have some fun learning about being shrewd. Being shrewd? What does that mean? Well, shrewd is just another word for being aware or using your head. Oh, are we still doing snakes? Yes. Where's my helmet? Stop that. And the Bible talks about being shrewd? It does. In the book of Matthew, Jesus was getting ready to send out the 12 disciples to meet with people in different villages so they could drive out evil spirits and heal sicknesses. And in the book of Matthew 10, 16, he said, I'm sending you out like sheep among wolves. Therefore, be as shrewd as snakes and as innocent as doves. As shrewd as snakes? How shrewd are snakes anyhow? Well, in the ancient Middle East, The serpent was a symbol of craftiness, whose wisdom was worth imitating. Most likely, Jesus was probably quoting a popular saying. Hmm, so Jesus was sending them out to heal people's illnesses? What were they doing, selling snake oil? (laughs) No, that is kind of funny though. Snake oil was a popular ointment or elixir sold in the 1800s that was supposed to cure all illnesses and make you live to be like 120. Wow, sign me up for some of that. I would, but the problem is it was a scam. It didn't work. Salesmen who sold it were lying to their customers and people actually believed them and gave them money. You're kidding. Sounds like the customers weren't being very shrewd. They weren't. And now the term snake oil is just another way of saying phony or fake. And Jesus wants us to be shrewd or aware of others who might want to take advantage of us. Hmm, how do we do that? Well, the best way to be shrewd is to know the truth, which you can find by reading God's Word, the Bible, and also by listening to the Spirit. How do I do that? Well, generally when something seems too good to be true, it usually is. That little voice you hear or that feeling in your gut is likely the Holy Spirit saying, not so fast. Interesting. Now, let's go ahead and bring out our snake and see Not so fast. (sighs) Relax, would you? We've got a special guest, Ellie, who will be doing all of the snake holding. Whew. Ellie, come on in here. Oh, looks like she's over here. Come on in, Ellie, and bring that snake with you. Slide on in. Here we have, oh my goodness, the snake. <laughs> and what is that snake's name? Um, her name is Sunshine. Sunshine. See, nothing to be afraid of. Does Sunshine bite? Um, no, she's never bitten anyone. Um, she's super docile. She will smell you. She'll, she's super friendly. She'll just lay on you and go all around you. She really doesn't really even notice you half the time. Now hold her up a little higher here. Oh my goodness, look at that. And what kind of snake is this? She's a yellow spinner blast ball python. A yellow spinner blast ball python. Yes, Okay. That's she's like a morph. A morph, that means two snakes morphed into one. And uh, how old is she? She's about three years old. She'll be about four in December. So she's got a birthday coming up. Mm -hmm. What do you get a snake for its birthday? (laughs) Usually last time I just got her a new hiding log. She loves to be in it. Loves to hide in the log. Mm -hmm. And and, uh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was a little scary. <laughs> That, that's actually her just stretching out her jaw and she's basically she's just yawning. <laughs> I'll trust you. And then what do you feed her? We feed her live rats, live medium rats, um, at least once every few weeks. Uh, so can she actually get a rat in her mouth? I mean, um, Yes, we feed it. Um, the rats are about as thick as her body. And she can get that in her mouth? Yes, because she, her jaw can unhinge in two different ways. Oh my goodness. Wow. So this little head can unhinge the jaw and then eat a rat about that thick. Yes. Wow. That's a, whoa. <laughs> She's not gonna bite me. No, she'll just stare at you. <laughs> and so, uh, I don't know, look at, look at her. <laughs> that little tongue there. It's yes, just, she's smelling you. That's how she smells. Smell with her tongue. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Do you guys wanna hold her? Uh, no, but I think Sadie does. No, I do not. <laughs> well, here's a few interesting facts about snakes that you might not even know. Did you know that snakes do not have eyelids? Snakes have internal ears, but not external ears. That means you can't see them. Snakes smell with their tongue. Snakes aren't slimy, they have scales. Snakes eat meat and they swallow food whole. And some pythons can grow over 28 feet long and kill their prey by tightly wrapping around it and suffocating it. Oh, look at the time. Thanks for coming, Ellie. Sadie. I'm just thinking about sunshine. It's probably about time for a nap. That's a pretty clever way of saying this episode is over. What can I say? Being shrewd is a beautiful thing. So, Sadie, what did you learn today? I learned that I still hate snakes. I meant about the lesson. Oh, well, even though I don't like snakes, I have to admit that God is pretty creative, and snakes are pretty crafty, and God wants us to be aware and make smart decisions with our lives. Exactly. And the best way to use good judgment is by knowing the truth, and that comes from reading the Bible and listening to the Spirit. Very good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a special snack for us to enjoy. Oh, but what is it? I decided to bake a snake cake. A snake cake? What's that? It's a cake with a huge gummy snake on top. They say it's good luck to bite the head off the snake before you eat any. Would you like to do the honors? Sure, why not? I'm game. Let's have a look at that cake. It looks delicious. All right, there's the snake. Hmm. It's not coming off. Are you sure this thing's edible? No, I couldn't find a gummy snake, so I used a rubber snake instead, which is a whole lot longer. Mm. See? Oops. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> uh, yeah. We'll see you around. <laughs>